I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Why does he? Why does? Why does he suddenly look like he has makeup on? All right, we got two tracks. I don't know which one. Which, which those ours? Which which those ours? <laughs> All right, Kafka. I gotta talk to Marge there. Actually, hold on. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. This is gonna be the reason why so many people want to pull for Kafka, right? This entire conversation is gonna make me realize why so many people want to pull for her. It's all, it has all come to this. Her being in space bondage talking to you in a very submissive ma way. I don't wanna, there are gonna be, there are gonna, there is gonna be dialogue. There is gonna be dialogue where you can like simp for her. And I'll go out of character because I just wanna twist it into the weirdest way possible. Are you right? Are you hurt? Uh, no. I wonder how, I wonder how much you can actually stay, uh, how much you can actually change her, what, what she says to you. Yeah, it look like a sorry state to me. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. Interesting, it actually changes though. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Are you really innocent is the funniest thing to say though. Even though I learned nothing. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. There is no way that was a self-reference to the three questions. Since you asked one of the three questions, God damn it. it means cool. everything is going smoothly. Okay, that's cool. Are you ready to hear my answer? Okay, that's cool. Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, mm -hmm. but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Gotta love this, because it's been, it's been teased that Elio can, you know, it, it's the leader, he can foresee the future. I like this, I like this kind of plotline, to be fair. This is a very cool... Okay, ignore the ships popping in in the distance. This is a very cool storyline. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. And two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General. Presumably to inform him of this fact. Hmm, yeah, fatui but wholesome, huh? How wholesome are they? However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Are they wholesome because, because you're Elio withheld for key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. Cool, very interesting, very cool. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron it's Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then bugged, why are Blady and I even here? It was bugged because it was in neutral idle animation. 
and she was laughing, and you could you could you could tell that her face was frozen. <laughs> she was supposed to have some kind of a facial animation there. We're here for you. Well, remain silent. For the Stellaron. You're no, you're not here. For, you're lying. You're not here for me. You're here for whatever it is, whatever's inside me. For us. No, I'm pretty sure she means literally me. Why would she be lying also? If I say for us, she's like, no, not for you. You specifically or something like that. Sounds ridiculous. Why did you look at her it? boobs? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. Why? The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Cienjo. I love this conversation, though, it's very cool. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the La Fu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? Surprised? No. The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that I just to make that you so many a hero for you. of the Sienjo. <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? They even took off your jacket just for this moment, all right? <sighs> what is this future you're talking about? It's gonna, she's gonna be like, ha you'll learn eventually. Is it gonna be the answer to all of these, actually? Like I said, Ooh. Elio withheld key pieces of information Ooh. from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. She's not destruction, though, is she? I actually don't know. Isn't she nihility? There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst yep, cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook That's the cool. destruction. That is cool. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. That's cool. It will be a brutal struggle of evil. Yeah, spoiler! Versions. Ban her! Is she in the chat? Proportions that neither you, you nor that. I nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Man, I'm not gonna... I have to admit, that's very cool. I have to admit, that was very cool. Is it gonna be back to Dan? Hey, Lucha. Yep. You didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's I interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. I have to admit, that's a very cool storyline. I'm still pulling for Lucha here because he's probably gonna be a really broken healer. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or that was very cool. in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. 
That Eon was slain at the hands of another Eon. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. They're all Eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Sienjo? Other Eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yausha. Yeah, it's Isn't destroying know, the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In yeah, that it's case, in your, it's in your let's life just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket. More commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. Yeah, are they from this realm? Are they from this realm? Are they perhaps related to maybe something from another uh, reality? Something from another universe, maybe? The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just yeah, part I know, of my job. I know. I, I was asked to deliver this coffin I learned to about Sien Joe. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Yeah, it's Signora, actually. Yeah, it's Signora. You got Signora in there. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a dust. lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. You know what I and hope our way of saying goodbye. there is? I actually hope, I actually hope it's, um, it's Himeko. That's my, that, that's what I would personally love to see. I personally hope there is Himeko inside. And the Welt is interested in this because he wants to resurrect her. That's my first... That's what I would love to see. That would be badass. That would be really cool. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in stars gifts and then let them drift out it can into be, the stars. Know, it can be, it can be anything. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're... Well, More not the one in this universe. Is, Which one do you mean? They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mum calls the Vidyadara long But yeah, this Cyrox. character is actually really cool. When I was young, she Like, that casket makes that character the so interesting. Could turn into but yeah, it could be Signora, yeah. I don't know if that's true. Uh, it's just a legend, totally, even though I'm playing as Dan, even though Dan has its own lore and I shouldn't be really controlling him. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Also, it's still not voiced. Your mother is right. The Vidyadava are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. I know the basics about Odo because For the inheritor. I learned about wealth story. It's hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. I know the basics. Hmm. I've heard the story of long Nothing the permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Also, I don't know one thing, and I'm, I, I don't know one thing, and I'm curious about that one. only their descendants. Who gave it the name Void Archives? How, where did that name come from? 
Because that is the stupidest name for a being I've ever heard. What? Where the, then again, there is Marge, alright? To be fair, it is actually competing with Marge. Okay, yeah, but... But would you really stick with the name Void Archives? Is it... Oh, bad trans... Oh, is there... Is the translation... Is the original better? I know, but still, Void Archives. Two words... Is the Chinese a single word? That would be cool, because Void Archives is just weird. Every life has its limit. Even the eons March isn't that are not bad. Uh, yeah, truly if you... immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, hold on, I just had to stop because he, he, was, he was almost teasing something. Uh... Let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? He's gonna say yes, because it's original Himeko. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yes. Mm. <laughs> well, well, well. A friend? Like, I don't know the lore that much. Um, no? No. Aha! <laughs> so, uh... The sweetheart? No. <laughs> Miss, whatever gave you that impression? The... individual in the coffin mm -hmm. is neither friend nor relative. We met only... once. By chance, See, I'm I made totally right. A promise, and so I have to run this errand. I'm totally right. <laughs> he could be, he could be lying, but I I don't think he is because this is actually a cool foreshadowing of the future. If he was lying, this entire conversation would be worthless. So, for the purpose of awesome storytelling, I would assume he's actually not lying because this would be awesome. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. That's a cool character. It's like, this alone makes this character so cool. Mm, okay, I'm playing as you now again. Oh, at least I can see what Lucha does again. Hold on. Hold on, since I'm definitely pulling for him. Let me see, actually. Really? Okay, I have to wait for combat then. I have to fight? Can I not sneak around? Okay, whatever, at least I'll see. I can't even! Was that the wind? Run, you fools! Mara struck. My computer is not it handling like this because hurt. I got I still got my thingy running in the Wait. background. Let's think before we act. Think before we act? We okay, I guess we have to. Hello. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize. Oh, it's gonna be a rice penis. I forgot. Enough. Let's go. Rice penis. That's what it's gonna be. Oh, you can't even reuse his burst. Cannot view <laughs> the hell info. I can't have a look at her though. Not him. Uh, I forgot what he's doing. He's doing something. He's healing. Is he healing with basic attacks? Because I think that's the point of him. You. Oh, he has me. That is cool. I wonder if that's a foreshadowing. If that's like a meta, like a meta thing, 
where he is acting on his own. Because he is not like the others in this universe. <laughs> that would be cool if there was like more to that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You. Maybe. Receive divinity. Don't worry about me. Oh, I'm gonna go it's it's but a vision. Break. And that's just a game theory. Where's my Sila when I need her for the resets here? Let me through. Okay, you guys don't, are not doing that much damage, to be honest. You're not even. <laughs> Eternal step. Dead return. So he also dispels. He also he also has a cleanse. Also rise penis. Take this. Shape of Tyson rise penis. There you go. <sighs> Miss, are you okay? <laughs> What do you think? It did rise Sorry, indeed. I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. My motor is broken. I can't move. It's Catherine. Are you a cloud knight? It's Catherine. Oh god! Uh, run! Run, you fools! Take me to the realm keeping commission. I uh Locha, Silent the Deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. Error. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. Also, hold on, question for Genshin and Joyers. must prioritize her orders. Was the error and rebooting part of the game from the very beginning? I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. That is cool. Probably be there by now. That is actually cool that they did it. So has that? So was that like a massive? Was that just like a massive theory crafting point around the game? I happen to have Or was have it hinted in like an event or knowledge. something? Perhaps I can treat the young cool. lady's injuries. Well, it's just she's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the realm keeping commission. Did people actually notice the keyhole on the neck? Because, like, when I was de dealing with Catherine, people kept telling me, like, Oh, look around, look around, look behind her. And I wasn't... And I was like, what am I really looking for? And, I, and, it, and it wasn't until I talked to her in Sumeru that I no noticed the keyhole. Like, how did people notice that? Oh, I guess you can just pull, pull the model from the game, right? Because in-game, that's worry, very difficult Miss to Sushan. see. Leave it to me. You no, might get I an tried aching or zooming. numbing oh. sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? Alrighty. It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Playable character? Be it mechanical it's very or organic, unique. we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. Sounds very playable. <sighs> Based on the design, Curious. definitely. How... What kind of medical knowledge is this? I kinda, to be fair, I have to say, I love the idea of puppets, of like mechanical characters. Love that idea in any fantasy, in any sci-fi. I really do not like the idea of you having uh, a puppet that looks purely human. That's why... Uh, not Himeko, the other one. Herda. That's why that is such a great character. It's so good. And that's why, like, they should have... They should have, you know, what, whatever Raiden is, they should have used Herda's technology on her. Abundance. Or actually, no, the Wanderer, no, Wanderer, better example. Wanderer should have, like, ball joints. That would be so cool! Hmm. Hmm. Very good. This is a cool character. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. 
This is ah damn it, ah, this is a cool character. This is a cool design. Oh god, oh god, no! As a judge in the employee me. of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, yeah, seeing very cool. as you the can't hair is cool. a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. Look at that! It's the filter that I was talking about in my video. Look at how the eye goes through the hair. Like here, you can, it is so visible. It's actually badass. See how the eye goes through the hair? It looks so cool here. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <laughs> Even if, if she's a four star, a strange accident, it's fine because Scrotum is short. also a four star, and I will eventually, if Scrotum becomes a playable character, I will, I will pull for him. Strange accident. Okay, <laughs> I thought you just left. Come with me. All right. Oh. Oh yeah, Scrotum! You don't know Scrotum? That's the best character in this game. Oh yeah, I will main Scrotum. I've never seen anything like it. I'll probably pull Scrotum, yeah. You know, uh. even eons can be killed. And we're back to this. And we're back to we're back to mommy. <laughs> Tommy mommy back. Okay, sure. Uh, this is cool. How can Eon possibly be killed? Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Okay, how about how do I do it? Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. I know! I've heard about that one! These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Holy shit, this is some really awesome fucking lore. Also, that ship popped in from the background. Dude, this is so good! Two. In a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. It's like, this is kind of similar, this is kind of like Warhammer lore, is what I learned. <laughs> the Jin, the, the, the Zinjiao Alliance, hmm, kinda, you know, I don't know if they're fully in the right, technically. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. Yep, 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 that's cool. How did Tazeroth die? Who is that? I guess I'll learn. Well, ah, I can really though. I don't think she's gonna answer any of these. So I wanna know Akivili. But she's gonna be like, ah, not now, right? Or does she? I don't know. No Akivili's way she does! This was very mysterious. Noose is probably the Ooh. only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. Okay, but, okay, but we still learn nothing, okay, sure. What do you think? 
fascinating stories, no? <laughs> no, I will not be tempted by such demon! I will not pull for you, even though this lore is very cool. They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. I will not pull for you. But I shall consider other Stellaron hunters. Not you, foul demon. What about the third way? Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Oh, is it gonna be Blade? Hmm. Ah, she. <laughs> Why is all this so cool? Jacket, come on, who's gonna give her her jacket? Ah, there's Blade! Is he gonna throw her the jacket? Let's come go, on. Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> That's all of you, simps, jumping after her. Uh, did Kafka all of you. escape? Uh, how are we gonna explain this to the Master uh, Diviner? <laughs> That's all of you. It's my entire chat right there. Very cool. Though. If what she said is true. We won't have to explain anything. I talk. That's a surprise. Hey, did she brainwash you? 